following the latest going on in the Northwest Territories, about 20,000 people forced out of the territorial capital of Yellowknife are being urged not to try and go back home because of wildfires. Now, the situation appears to be pretty stable in terms of keeping those fires away from the city itself, but it's still not safe. Some evacuees are running out of supplies. Many of them are in Alberta, and they're getting a little concerned about long-term plans. Remember, most of them forced out about a week ago, give or take. Let's bring in Rebecca Alti. She's the mayor of Yellowknife. Rebecca, good to see you. Appreciate you taking all the time to come on the media and talk to CTV as well. What's the latest at Yellowknife? So, uh, unfortunately, the, the fire is still currently a threat to Yellowknife, and so it's not safe to return. And I know residents have been seeing, you know, blue skies, sunny. It was hot yesterday. It's hot today. It's going to be hot tomorrow. But those are actually not great things for the fire. Um, it, you know, it can, uh, it's forecasted to cause um, flare-ups and what they call as crown fires, which means the fire goes from tree to tree. And so it has, we have had some cooperation from the weather in that um, there's been some reduced smoke. So the, the tankers, the, the bombers, sorry, have been able to, to get out and actively fight the fire. Um, but this sun, wind, warm weather continues to, to dry out the forest and can cause the, the flare ups, which is expected to be in the next coming days. So currently still a threat and encourage people to, to stay where you are and, and stay safe. What are you hearing from, from some residents, no doubt people trying to reach out to you uh, and, and others involved in the city government, uh, you know, getting, you know, trying to get more information or maybe, you know, sharing some of the stories you know, of what they're going through right now, Rebecca. Yeah, definitely really challenging the stressful time. Uncertainty particularly can be really stressful. Um, we've got seven evacuation reception centers set up in Alberta, uh, one in Winnipeg. There's some, some resources as well as in Whitehorse. Um, each reception center is operated differently. They're, they're operated in the jurisdiction that they're in. So I know, um, some areas have a bit more resources than others. Do encourage folks to to reach out to the territorial government. They have a, a 188 number if you do have any questions or concerns about your situation. Today, it has been over seven days now since the evacuation order has been in place. And so uh, the, the territorial government does have an evacuee income assistance program. So if your income has been disrupted, if you haven't been able to get paid because of this, um, please do apply for that program. And for other residents, encourage you to, to reach out to your insurance companies to see what you're, you're eligible for. I know there was few insurance companies set up at the evacuation reception centers to ask questions. So definitely encourage folks to, to reach out because it is a really challenging time financially. All and right. if I could give one more plug, of course. is the United Way of the NWT is accepting uh, monetary donations and providing support to evacuees. So if there are Canadians who do have the means and are looking to support, uh, please do reach out to the United Way of the Northwest Territories. Hey, one question, tough question. You mentioned it's been a week now. Uh, any sense whether it could be another week, a couple of days? Uh, is there any way to ballpark it at all or is that is that impossible? Not yet. And it's similar to with the evacuation order, you know, you monitor the fire and when it's deemed, uh, in this case for, for the return, um, when the fire is no longer a threat, then the territorial government can, can remove the evacuation order. So unfortunately there's, there's no set date yet. So I know, you know, rumor mill goes around and they're like September 4th at 8.05 AM. And I'm like, no, 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 no. There's, there's no date set yet. Um, however, what I can say is staff have been working really hard on the, the re-entry plan. You can appreciate that there's so many pieces to this puzzle that needs to come together for a, a successful re-entry. You know, um, got to make sure that the airport's operational for commercial flights. We've got to make sure that there's some hospital staff because right now it's just a skeleton crew. We're going to have 20,000 people come back and they're going to need groceries. And so making sure that there's um, everything in place. So all the planning of like what step needs to be done first, second, third, a hundredth, um, all of that's underway. It's 12 hours a day. Staff are continuing to work on all the planning. But for today, the fire still is a threat. So the evacuation order remains.